If it was so perfect, would we be doing it again? Is my question. <laughs> You want to give it another shot? No, yeah. you just go. All right. Come on, you're the face. I'm the sidekick. <laughs> That's how this works. I'm the short one, sidekick. You, oh. tall. <laughs> Welcome to Chalice Farms TV. My name is Penn Lewis. And I'm Kiki Sherrard. And we're here today to show you some of the inside practices behind the best cannabis producers in the state of Oregon. We're here to show you some of the things that happen behind the scenes to create and cultivate craft cannabis products. Yes! <laughs> We're here with the team from Bobsled Farms. We wanted to talk to them about some of their amazing growing practices and the fact that they're actually growing a lot of their oil for head sauce extraction. There's really no comparison when you're when you're growing organic with the you know the terpene profile and really when you're getting down to the head sauce, the terpenes are really what are making that pop. Waste materials are plants that we put back into the dirt, let it decompose, let the worms do their thing, and uh, let nature grow for us. The actual extraction process we do on our Lunatech machine, which is also manufactured by us. Uh, we have more than 12 times the cooling capacity of any other uh, hydrocarbon extraction equipment on the market. That Lunatech is incredibly market setting. The biggest thing is product quality, and then with that product quality is the consistency of that product's quality. The dry ice itself is about negative 110 degrees, um, and that flash freezes it. So that allows then the material that comes out to go straight into an oven and it crashes out better, it separates. It allows the, the diamonds to re-crystallize and have the THCA on the bottom and then pour off the top with the, the terpene layer. Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we really appreciate the bobsled team for taking us down and letting us see the farm and showing us not only their farm, but their extraction processes. And we appreciate you guys as well. Uh, we're going to be coming at you with episodes weekly, highlighting teams like the bobsled team or highlighting other innovations within the industry. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We really appreciate you. Bye. When I got out of the Marine Corps, the hypervigilance did follow me home. I was living with this haze. It was so weird. And then I started using cannabis. That was the flip. That was when I went from groggy, foggy John back to when I was 16. It allows me to show up to work, allows me to show up to my wife, allows me to show up to my best friends, it allows me to show up to life. I was born with asthma and my entire life I've been on inhalers. When I experienced cannabis, my lungs felt like they opened up a lot more. Deeper breaths, I could take longer breaths, I could take longer strides. It is life changing because I never knew how great running could be before cannabis. It's so liberating to not take eight horse pills a day. Cannabis is definitely it's my balance. It allows me to be the creative self that I really am and not be afraid. I think cannabis saved my life. I mean, I think I have a life because of it, truly. I'm talking about the ultimate find your chalice, like I'm still here enjoying creating opportunities for people with chalice because of chalice cannabis <laughs> you know, cannabis truly enhances all lives and we want to just keep pushing that mission that is the mission of chalice you know go out there and find your chalice